In this tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you a few tricks to do with hatching. Um, over the years, AutoCAD's come up with some um, better techniques with uh, with hatching, with associative hatch, uh, but it still has some limitations. Um, what I'll first do is show you how associative hatch works, if you're not aware of it already, and then I'll show you um, another technique on uh, a way to go about dealing with blocks over hatches um, and having the boundary go around them and so forth. Um, we'll, we'll get into it. Okay, so here I have a lounge suite and a TV unit with a TV on top. And let's say I just want to hatch in this part of the lounge room. So we'll bring up hatch. Uh, I'll type BH or B hatch, And we open up the hatch properties window. Uh, we'll select the hatch pattern. So we'll just select an ANSI and we'll select the ANSI 37. Left click on OK. Uh, we'll just leave the scale at 100 for now. Um, now if we go over here in the options part, if we tick associative, uh, this is what I want to show you. Um, it's, it's a good technique um, when it works. Um, so look, we'll, we'll click on add points and we'll create our hatch. So now it's asking us where we want to click for a hatch, so we'll just click left click here and then hit the space bar or enter and then click OK. So now we have our hatch and that's associative. So what that means is if I now move this piece of furniture, the hatch should move with it, which it did in some part, but as you can see over here there's been a bit of a problem. Um, I'll do undo and not too sure what's happened there exactly, but that's what happens sometimes with hatches. Um, if I smooth the TV unit, the hatch works okay that way, but if I was to bring it out further, as you can see, the hatch hasn't moved with it. Um, now, one of the things we can do to get around the problem with the TV is, if you see it's hard up against the wall, so if we delete that hatch uh, and try again, but before we do that, we need to select the hatch Ensure your properties window on the left here is open. Uh, if it's not, um, right click, menu comes up, and go down towards the bottom and left click on properties. And then in the properties window, you'll see a drop down menu that says all. Left click on that. We'll go down to our hatch. And then if we go down our window here, you'll see associative. Select no. So that way we can delete the hatch safely. If I just undo that and leave the hatch go back to being associative again, if I was to select that hatch whilst it's associative, it deletes everything. So we'll undo that, go back to our window, go to hatch, associative, no. Okay, so now we can safely delete it. Now, one of the tricks to get around the problem with the TV unit coming out and not having the hatch go around it, is just to bring it a little bit off the wall. So, I'm working in millimetres, so even if I just bring it off, say, 20 millimetres, which is almost an inch, and we'll try that hatch again. So, BH for, for the hatch command. Uh, we've still got associative uh, ticked. And, again, we'll try and create a hatch. So, as you can see, there's a tiny little bit of distance now between the wall. If I was to move this unit, move it over here, you can see that the hatch has moved with it. Um, but as you can see, the TV hasn't made a difference because it wasn't in the hatch um, boundaries when I created it. But as you, you generally move that in this case with the TV unit. Um, okay, so that's another method. Now what I wanted to show you was a method that I've used for many years before associative hatch was even around. So again, we'll just go back to our properties window, hatch, associative, no, and delete. Now what I want to do is just move these pieces of furniture out of the way and we'll create another hatch. This time we can leave associative on or not. Uh, there's not really any need to have associative on for what I'm going to show you. So let's just click in there and just see we've got our hatch there. Now I can delete that and it's not deleting anything else. So 
I'll undo that. Okay. Now, whilst to bring this piece of furniture over the top, as you can see, the hatch is going right through it. So that's not not ideal. What we want to do is grab our block, and it needs to be a block. Um, uh, in this case, the way we're going to sort of work it, it's it, it, being in a block anyway, it just makes it a lot easier to move around. So we're selecting our block. We'll right click, menu comes up, and then we'll left click on the block editor. Okay, so now we're in the block editor. What we want to do, uh, ideally, is perhaps create another layer. So if we go up to our layers and left click, and we'll click here for a new layer, and let's just call it furniture hatch. Hit enter. Um, perhaps it's good to pick a color at this point. Um, now pick a color that you that's not the same as the, the block's color because it's going to be otherwise it's just you're not going to be able to see the line work of the block at all. Um, you could select the sort of darker color that's uh, similar to the AutoCAD um, model space window if you wanted to. Um, I might just select this color for now to color 251, and then I'll close that and I'll just select that layer. Okay. So what we want to do in this case is we have a pretty basic shaped uh, couch. It's pretty much a very squarish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a polyline. So PL and then enter. And I'm just going to draw a line around this couch. It's a bit hard to see in block editor because everything's sort of black. Um, but you see there I've created a, a um, polyline boundary. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create another hatch, BH. Uh, this time I'm going to change the pattern to a solid. And click OK. And make sure nothing's associative, everything's sort of turned off. OK, fine. Uh, this time I'm going to select the select objects method. And I'm going to select the polyline that I just created before. So there you go, we've selected it, you can see the outline of the polyline. And then we'll click enter or space, and then we can click OK. OK, so now we've got that uh, hatch. Now if I click there, you can see I've selected the polyline. We don't really need that polyline anymore, so we can click E and then space for erase. And now if we click again, we've selected our hatch. And what we want to do is use another command, which is draw order. So with the hatch selected, type the letters D and then R and then um, hit space. Now it's going to ask us um, what we want to do with this object. So what we want to do is we want to select uh, B and then press space. And what that's done is it's taken the hatch and it's sent it to the back of all the other line work. So as you can see now we can see all the other line work that's come through. So that's basically what we wanted to do. So now what we want to do is left click on Close Block Editor. It's going to ask us if we want to save our changes, and we do, so we'll left click on that. And now we're back into the AutoCAD model space. Now, if I move this couch over the top, you can see that, okay, it's, it's gone over the hatch, but if there was a case that we created the hatch at another point, or if the hatch was in front, it's... Um, yeah, it's just going to go straight through. So, what we're going to do here is, even though we're generally working in the two dimensions here at the moment, we're going to set this block with a a, a Z axis dimension uh, or a coordinate. So, if we go over to our properties window here on the left, as you can see, the Z position is zero. Uh, now, generally, when you're drawing in 2D, most things are on zero, or hopefully they should be. Um, sometimes they do get a bit out of hand but with lines shooting all over the place yep. but uh, in this case it's on zero so what we're going to do is we're just going to make that one so what that means now is if I select that hatch that's currently on um, the Z of zero so by making this block on one it means it's always going to be above the hatch so um, well in this case I've already brought it to the front, but we'll send it back to the back. Um, but it will just be able to float 
no matter where we move the the block it'll always be over the top of that hatch so you don't need to rehatch anything uh, you can just yeah you can just move it around as you like the good thing about this method is that if we did create a hatch um, even if it was associative um, initially and then just brought in some blocks even with even though the, the hatch was associative it's still not going to detect these objects because they weren't there to begin with so I can show you how that works we'll just move that out, out of the way we'll delete that hatch we'll create another hatch similar to the one we had now we're going to select associative again and we'll click a object okay so now that's associative hatch but we've brought the um, the couch now over the top of that associative hatch but the hatch as you can see is still uh, there so and as you can see in this case too that the the hatch is also because we created after we created the couch hatches on top so we can just draw order and send that to the back um, now you might wonder when printing what's going to happen with this with this color so if you're using plot styles or a CTB file what we should do is uh, well we'll just click on print and let's just use the AutoCAD CTB for now and we'll, we'll edit that now the color I think we selected was uh, 251 so we select on 251 and then go to color and select color oh, in fact you know what we can just leave that object color the way it is this is probably the easier way to do it there's a, uh, a section there in the window that's called screening now if screening is 100 that's the full color if it's zero it'll come out white no matter what color it is it'll come out white so generally we'd make that zero straight away but for some reason I always find that when I click zero in that box it just stays at 100 or whatever number it is so if you just click on one and then click the arrow to make it zero and we'll save and close now I've just got a PDF thing set up here and we'll just create a window so we can see what that looks like and as you can see um, the grey colour that's on the couch is just showing as white over the hatch line types um, I think the red in here, yeah it's just using object colour we'll select that as black alright so there we go um, that's basically how it works um, sort of a, yeah it's an old an old technique it's, oh I've been doing this for oh I'd say about 15 years from our early early uh, versions of AutoCAD uh, I still find it's useful in some cases, as I said associative hatch has its place but it also you know has its problems too but um, hopefully you found this tutorial uh, sort of helpful in some way uh, perhaps it might be appropriate in a particular project you have in some way um, you could use this for any technique uh, not just furniture, any, any kind of block or you know, text or anything really so um, hopefully you found this is helpful if you have any questions or comments um, please leave them below thank you